back, folks. My first guest tonight is a political analyst, author, and the host of The Readout on MSNBC. Please welcome Joy Reid. There are so many people. <laughs> is this larger than your live audience on your show? Slightly. I have a stage manager and another lady, and that's it. That's it? Yeah. That's all you need. It's very that's economical. All. That's all I've got. Uh, nice to meet you in person. We, yes. We've we talked before. Yep. Uh, before the election, right? Before Indeed. the 2020 election. Ooh, that was a harrowing time, wasn't it? It, it was quite a time. <laughs> yes, it was. Okay, let's talk about one of those harrowing times. Yeah. When, when, you were, when you were on, when I was still up in the storage room and I couldn't see my staff, um, for the election, you expressed some trepidation at the time that you thought that perhaps the Republicans would attempt to game the election by claiming that Biden only won through cheating yes. or something and Fraud. undermine the legitimacy of the election. Yeah. You were right. And yeah. I am curious if you have anything else you'd like to oraculate <laughs> on. I don't now have lottery have numbers. Yes. Yeah, I mean, well, the reality is, is that, you know, it wasn't sort of powers of pro prognostication because Donald Trump was saying that's what he was going to do. He made it very clear um, that the only way that Joe Biden could win the election was through cheating and fraud. And he was telegraphing that he was going to anchor that alleged cheating and fraud in the votes of African Americans. And he targeted specific counties after the election, as expected, where black and brown people majority vote. And it's, it's not an unusual strategy, let's just say, um, for the Republican Party over the decades to allege voter fraud and to fixate that voter fraud on voters of color. It's not exactly a but new strategy. But not to this extent. Well, not to the point where they then uh, encourage people to go and overthrow the result by mm -hmm. invading, physically invading the Capitol. Um, that is, is a new one. Um, <laughs> and such a large percentage of uh, Republican voters believe the big lie. Yeah. Um, what, what, what's the next tool do you think they might use? Any, well, anything on the horizon that you're hearing people already talk about? Yeah, what, what's frightening about what's happened is that, you know, again, there have always been these sort of, you know, intimations that Democrats only win through fraud. This happened when President Obama won. You know, there was that meme that, well, he only won because of fraud. You had, during the George W. Bush administration, this uh, attempt to push U.S. attorneys to investigate so-called voter fraud. This isn't a new thing. But what Donald Trump has done is he's weaponized that sort of learned fear among Republicans that elections are being regularly stolen from them, particularly by voters of color. And what they've done now is they've used that big lie to pass laws to make it much, much harder for people of color, for older people, for poorer people to vote. Because what they're trying to say to their voters is the way we'll fix this fraud is that we will guarantee that if you'll come out and vote, if you'll come to the polls, we will guarantee you that you will win. If you don't win at the ballot box, we'll fix it afterwards. And that's what the laws in Texas and Georgia and Arizona are doing. They're trying to make sure that there's a guaranteed victory. In Texas, uh, for the people out there who haven't followed it, in Texas, uh, as in many states, but in Texas particularly, there's a, an anti-voter rights bill that's being pushed through yeah. the Democrats in a special session being called by the right. Governor Abbott. And the, the Democrats uh, have, uh, in the Texas State Senate, have left so yeah. there won't be a quorum so they can't be voted on during the special session. Who yeah. knows if it'll end it, but it'll certainly stall it. Yeah. Uh, Lindsey Graham says the same thing should happen with the Republicans in the Senate in the United States to yeah. stop the infrastructure bill, that they should, they should leave. <laughs> they should leave. Do yeah. you, have, you have thoughts on, on I think that? I think they should do that. I think it's a great idea. It's a phenomenal idea. I think everyone should listen. Listen to Lindsey Graham. But the thing is, what's odd about it, when I heard him say that, I thought, well, yeah, but the Texas people leave Texas because yeah. the, the, the tex Texas government can't go to arrest them Correct. in another state. Yeah. U.S. senators would have to leave the United States <laughs> and, and, and forever because the, it's not like there's a special session. Senate's in. Right. Well, the other thing is that 
it doesn't, the way that it works in the Texas legislature is not the way it works in Washington, D.C. If they left, then Democrats could simply pass whatever bills they wanted with the senators who were there. It's not the same sort of system. And Lindsey Graham has been a senator a really long time. He should know how this works. <laughs> but if they were to leave, let's say the Republicans were to try to pull a Texas Dems and just leave, mm -hmm. then Democrats could simply pass whatever they, bills they wanted with the quorum that's there. Different rules. And by the way, the rules are made by the... <laughs> Senate Majority Leader, which is Chuck Schumer, they would just pass their entire agenda. So I'm like, yeah, leave, and then we can pass all of the bills that the American people need. Now, one of the things, one of the things that's a little bit uh, distressing about polling that I've seen recently is that the basically essentially the same people who believe the big lie. Yeah have a large percentage of the people who do not believe that they should become vaccinated. There's right. a lot of, it's not exactly the same, but there's a lot of correlation between yeah. those two. Is there any message you're talking about on your show of to people about vaccinations, pros and cons? Uh, this is what frightens me because, you know, and I, I, I tweeted this and I'll, I'll just say it again. The same people, at least there's a huge Venn diagram, as you said, of the same people who are telling you you should not be vaccinated are the same people who are saying there are bamboo shards of Trump ballots in the chicken poop in Arizona and that you should comb through that chicken poop. <laughs> Find the bamboo ballots, which obviously are from China because bamboo ballots, and that therefore Trump won by like a bazillion votes. Those same people are saying, oh, and don't get vaccinated. They're gonna kill you. Don't listen to those people. I forgot about the chickens eating the bamboo ballots. The chicken poop. Yeah. Is they ground up the ballots, and That's obviously right. the only way to get rid of paper or yeah. bamboo yeah. is to feed it to chickens. Obviously. Right, and then you have to burn the chickens. You, you, you pretty much, but you get can get barbecue evidence. out of it, and that, you can barbecue, and then you true. get the chicken poop. Yeah. We have to take a quick break, but, but okay. don't go away, because when we come back, I will ask Joy about certain anchors on different news networks who poo-poo the vaccine and won't say whether they've been uh, inoculated. Stick around. <laughs> 